I've been involved in the Arts and Heritage Committee for about uh, five years. Arts and Heritage brings together a range of different people from across the community who have recognised the importance of celebrating our heritage and our art. And today you're actually looking at this wonderful celebration of art and heritage to the Goldwood community. got here I said to Deb how long do you expect us to be here like how many weeks months and she said oh about six weeks so here we are five years later. We ended up with about 5,000 over 5,000 um, items that we catalogued um, right from the rocking horses that were in the children's ward right through to the doctor's bags and things that we've just found hidden away. We started from scratch but between all of us we sort of were able to um, um, put things together so that the objects could be correctly stored. Some people might ask the question, why do we need to have arts? Why do we need to have heritage? As we look around here today, we're going to be celebrating where we've been and where we're going to, but we're also celebrating what we actually represent to this community. And so when people walk through the door of Goldwyn Health Service, we want them to feel comfortable, we want them to feel welcome, and we also want them to engage in making this the best health service in the whole of New South Wales. House. It was called Springfield House. You see, girls couldn't train if they didn't have somewhere that they were looked after. If you were new, you were upstairs in the nurse's home and you possibly spent some of your time sleeping on an open veranda which only had some canvas blinds. Can you imagine how cold that would have been? I never expected it would be as good as this. It's wonderful. I think they've covered very well and got the feeling it's very beautiful, I think. Originally we thought we were just going to have one big window, one small area of the hospital that was going to be available for the collection. And we're trying to work out what we could put in it at that time. But then when we walked in here and saw this, it's just like going to like the National Gallery or some small gallery somewhere in Sydney, a very upmarket. I was really, really... Sort of, yeah, it took my breath away for a minute. As the chairperson, it's been really exciting to be able to see it from its embryonic stage right through to now when we're actually really celebrating some of our achievements. The reason why we need to have arts and heritage integrated within our hospital precinct is that this creates an inclusive environment so that we welcome the community into this hospital structure. The message we're trying to actually get through to this community is to be able to say, come in, have a look, and reflect upon what 130 years of healthcare looks like.